Hey there, this is Todd at BizLadder. This video is going to talk about customizable products on Wix. So you sell a product, the customer can personalize it, put their name on it, um, you know, add some discreet, some, some image that they upload, something that makes it uniquely theirs. Really powerful way. This is how I essentially built one of my e-com businesses off the power of personalization. In fact, if you go to Amazon and you search personalized dog collar, at least as of last week, the product I created years ago is still ranked top three on Amazon um, for personalized dog collar. So this is a really powerful option if you have the uh, operational and fulfillment capabilities to, to provide this type of product. However, as of the, the recording of this video, it, the customizable or personalized product option is not yet available on Wix. They are aware of it. In fact, I'm on the page for the feature request. You can vote for this feature. I voted myself here. Um, I, I recommend that you vote for it. Wix is aware of this. I, I would imagine we'll get this sometime soon, but it's, it's a fairly sophisticated install. So, um, you know, you can always write your own code in Velo, but we're not we're not talking about that in this video. What we're talking about is this little tip here. You know, what does that mean out of message box? How does that really work? How do you have how do you install a workaround to essentially allow for personalized product? So we're gonna take a look at that. I'm gonna go to the dashboard of a website. I've already clicked into store products products, so I don't show any sensitive information, personal information here. And then I've added this to this personalized Tumblr, 20 ounce skinny Tumblr product. So I'm gonna click into there and I'm gonna show how this workaround that Wix has recommended, how this is actually applied inside the product itself. So most importantly, your images and videos are what sell the product. So you can see on this product, this main image right down the center here, it's personalized. And then I've got this image here that shows the different font types available. Okay, really important. You know, dynamic personalization images are not going to be available with this workaround. That's that's full on custom code, um, but really important to show what the visitor, what the customer is going to get when they personalize it as best you can in this kind of static state. All right. So there you've got your images. You've got it in the title personalized. I recommend, you know, something in the description, you know, not it, it's a. Uh, it's, it's arguable how many people will read the full description, but some people do, so important to get that in there. Maybe even add an additional info section talking about personalization. But then we come down here to the, the two major sections that, for this workaround. First, you've got custom text, right? Um, you can add custom text here. You can make it mandatory. I, I don't recommend it because I'll show you that. I'll show you why. And then a character limit. How many, how many characters can, including spaces, can the customer put on their product and we've just got 15 here and then as a best practice reminder always tell people when an extra fee is going to apply they don't like being surprised even at the cart you know when something gets added and it's more than they thought just just be up front handle that objection right away uh, don't try and sneak anything in after the fact it'll it'll build a better long-term relationship with your customers and then we come down here to product options we've got design we're going to ignore that one that's that's just the, the image on it and then here's the key to this you have to have some sort of variant or option that allows you to upsell into the personalization. So in this case, it's gonna be the font type, right? We've got this picture of the fonts here. So we're gonna go down, we're gonna edit here, and really, really important, give the customer an option to say, no thanks, all right? Because this is an upsell, this personalization. This is a great way to increase average order value but you've got to give them the option to say no thanks otherwise it's not an upsell it's just a required fee and, and people don't like that that you know just required fee when they get to the page you always have to give them an option that adheres to the price that you initially displayed all right so we've got this no thank you as our first choice for this option then we've got the different font types we've only added in a couple here but you can obviously add them in and then always 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 tell them right then and there what this upcharge is plus five dollars okay so i'm not, I'm not going to click apply but cancel that and then you have to manage your variants in wix okay so it's a three-step process we'll scroll down you can see these font types all right no thank you has a zero dollar upcharge every time we have a, a font selected we have our five dollar upcharge right that's this charge plus minus all the way down the line, five dollars. So if you have some personalization options that are more than, more or less than the standard, obviously you can take care of that here. 
and I'm not going to apply, but we'll cancel. And if with these variants, they can get pretty overwhelming pretty quickly, especially to manage here inside the editor or, or the dashboard. So if this gets out of hand, I always recommend just managing this in Excel or a similar spreadsheet and uploading via CSV. Uh, well, we won't do it here, but if you do it back at the product section, I'll save that because I fixed the capitalization and you've got export and import here. So that's the quick lesson on personalization and any questions, be sure to reach out. Thanks.